Hello everybody! And here we have the neck that we worked together yesterday, but it's almost finished. So I'm double checking the last measurements, the last curves, and we will do together the chamfer around the upper, the button, button, button. I never know how to pronounce that, but this part here, that in Italian we call nocetta. So the measurements that I'm using, uh, before I tell you the measurements, I will tell you that at the end of this video, just before I will say bye to you, I will share a trick that I use uh, to prepare the, the neck for the varnishing, that will be the next step, so very, very important. Um, and before I give you the measurements of my neck, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Sofia, Sofia Vettori. Um, that picture here, it's me with my kids. And I make violin since I was 17. I learned from my father, I learned from his father. So I'm from an Italian violin making family and we are making violin since 90 years. That's a lot. Okay, so the measurement here, it's 19, a little bit less than 19. So now it's 18, 86 is perfect. The measurement here, it's something around 21 or a little bit less than 21, perfect. Then the measurements here, so let's say the, the book measurements are 19, 21, I go a little bit lower. I'd rather have a, 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 an easy um, neck, easy to play neck. The measure here, did you see where did I point it? So now I'm holding the camera, not with my phone. So it's not my phone camera, it's a GoPro, I can't see the, the comments but live, but I hope you are here live with me. And if you're watching the replay, you can leave me a comment. I would be happy to answer you like that. And then I point here like that. And these lines are touching perfectly. So this opening here is 26, very important. Another tool that I use is the, the quarter, dollar quarter. And I check here and I check up here. So this gives me to have a nice looking and I take so much attention on making the neck because it will really make a difference for the player. And so I like to use for the final part, this file here super super fine so while i'm working on the neck there are some other videos where i was like more rough working them i like to use the half round and half flat those are my favorite so i have also this file here but this is more aggressive it's leaving more marks so right now i'm really finishing it use the flat size because I feel that using the flat size I don't make whole like bumps I keep everything flat so the same flatness needs to go around like that so that the, the hand that will move will not be, feel any um, how do you say anything that stops from just a line that goes smooth. That's very important. Same thing up here. Okay, let me share something. A tool that I use to make the upper nut that the transition here, there is no transition, is to be one feeling. If you close your eyes, you don't even have to feel. It's this amazing tool here. It's called Incanol. Wait, I have, I have it written somewhere because I always forget. How is this called? Incanol Gouge? 
I remember, but if you want to know more, I can write on the comments, let me know. So it's like that. And it's perfect for making zero transition. Now, I don't want to destroy that one, that it's already perfect. But yeah, so that's the best tool to do that part. <laughs> can also use it to see the line. that I can also use some sandpaper 2020. But the sandpaper I use it only to smooth so everything it's already being made perfectly with the file at that spot. work on the upper nut, uh, no upper nut, the bottom, la nocetta, and I show you what do I do. Take a pencil here and I do like that. I hold my finger so that the line is at the same I draw a line. Now I take this one, this fine like that, and I just go. So what I like to do, I do like as from the scroll. I don't want to make a flat. I want to make round. And I stop at the line that I drew. sure that this part here is super flat. I use a glass scraper, so one of my favorite tools. And yeah, I have a, a free video course on how to make the glass scraper if you don't have it yet. 
just write glass in the comments and I will send the link to you. Because that's really an amazing Benissimo. Adesso possiamo cancellare can delete the line. Questo. Oh, it looks very nice. Now with some sandpaper, I also go too aggressive, too aggressive, this one, I'm already imagining how it looks like under the varnish. Okay. I want to finish more here. That. Here. So, like that. All right. Then I use this round Tomorrow with the right light, the uh, outside light that goes through the window, and I can see there are a lot of bumps, so I still have to finish the violin salt ready to varnish now. I will go on finish everything, but now let me show you what I will do to prepare for varnishing. So what I do, that's one of my tricks, I will wet the neck. So some water, just tiny little bit with your hand just go so you don't want to like keep it into the water just tiny little bit with your hands like that so that the only on the back so that the fuzziness of the wood will raise up and then tomorrow oh yeah because now it's late if not you just need to wait this to dry and then I already see like there are still bumps up here, so I will make it super smooth. I will do that a few times, and also then I will start using sandpaper like thinner, thinner, like uh, 320, 400, 600, 800, until this is super, super smooth. But yeah, that's coming nice together. So let's have this drying now. And tomorrow we'll start preparing and we will apply. Oh my God, I have a hiccup. <laughs> so I, we need to still here, there is bumps. I will remove the fingerboard, finish all the edge work, all the bumps, everything. So it will take hours still. And then when it's time, the first thing, thing that we will do is to apply the albumina on the top. And tomorrow I'm gonna show you also, do I have it here? Can't find it. Um, how do I prefer the asprella, the horse tail, to finish everything before we varnish? So I don't know if I will do that tomorrow or Monday because tomorrow I'm driving my son Dante to the trampoline competition in Kentucky. <laughs> I have to drive like two hours there, two hours back. So we'll see, but Monday for sure, 
And this beautiful Saponaria Balin is getting ready. So thanks for being here with me. Don't forget to share with somebody that you think will love to follow me too. Bye bye, ciao ciao.